Hey everyone, so uh, we're having a big day. We're moving um, Bibi, who's 112 years old. Um, just so you know which Bibi I mean. And we're having to move her to, uh, we've rented a house for her because her family, you won't believe it, her family don't want her to come to where she can have 24 hour care at the site and relieve the pressure on her daughter. Um, and the other persons involved as well, like the uh, the Islamic elders. But at the same time, they don't want to provide her any help. So they're refusing to let her have help, and I can't get my head around it myself at all. So they're ref refusing to let her get help from ourselves, um, we heard because there's a white man involved. Uh, but they're also refusing to help her, so they're not, they're not giving her any money, any food, uh, a bed, a room, anything, so. Uh, since my last video, um, the wall on the far end of the house has collapsed since I did the last video, so unbelievable. <sighs> so we're moving the baby today, and both babies into the new room which we've, we've rented and it's we've decorated it. Just come to get one last look at what Bibi's been doing for a living around the back of her house and <laughs> ah. This woman's had a hard life. A hard life. Mine, June didn't you quit? I'm <laughs> so we've got BB moved in, both BBs moved in. Um, and what I've had to do is I provided them with a mobile phone uh, with my number, and then if there's any problems, because there's no ambulance service in Tanzania, then I can come with the car and we can go to the hospital. So this is the best solution we can have. Uh, I would have preferred them to be at the site where we can give them 24-hour care and assistance, but as I say, um, persons involved with the BBs have refused to let that happen, but at the same time have selfishly refused to provide any money or a house or any, any sort of help. Um, I can't get my head around it, so it's just pettiness, just childish, childish mindset. As I often say in my other videos, the carnal mind misbehaving. So, so yeah. So they have their own new little house, and they have a phone, kerosene burn and stuff, so it's easy for them to cook. Constant food supply and medical care uh, as and when needed. So. Basically, both babies can start to relax. Um, certainly, the daughter who's been labouring, at least, um, can start to relax. And the other baby is, well, she's 112, so she's not fully coherent every day, sort of things. So. 
Okay. Love let me take 